Okay, we welcome you to our noonday bite and sip. It is a pleasure to be sharing this with you again. We are off to a little late start as we try to get the technology working for us. Um, it's a pleasure to have with me Neville Law. Neville Law. Neville is a um, Neville is very much integrally um, a part of this church and plays a, a lot of role here. And we're happy that he is able to join us this morning to help with this bite and sip. Welcome, Neville. And we're happy that you have joined us today um, as you share in this as well. Everything is on the screen there for you and the responses are in color. So we invite you to join in the responses. Call to worship. As we pause today for prayer, scriptures, reading, and meditation, let us open to receive God's spirit. And open to understand God's word. Let us be open to accept God's love. And let us be ready to do God's will. Let us pray. O oh God, who is the creator, greater than the most powerful force, powerful force in this, this world, enable us to be still and know that you are God. O oh Lord, who answer us out of the whirlwind of everyday life, breathing in us your Holy Spirit, Reading us your Holy Spirit to strengthen, comfort, and guide us in the midst of the storm. O oh, still small voice, speak to us this hour that we might become maker of your peace in our homes, in our community, in our world. And we pray all this in the name of the one who comes the raging sea. Amen. You, O oh Lord, I call my rock. Do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy sanctuary. Bless be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of my pleading. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, so I am helped, and my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Scripture reading, Acts 12, 1 to 17. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands on some of who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with a sword. After he saw that, it pleased the Jews. He proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of the unleavened bread. And when he seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four guards of four squads of soldiers to guard, to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. While Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and the, and the light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and, 
and walk in, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his wrist. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that that was what was happening with the angel else, else and real was real. He thought he was sleeping, seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. After Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod, and from that, from all that the Jews, the Jewish people were expecting. As soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where the many had gathered and were praying. When he knocked at the outer gate, a maid named Rhoda came and to answer. On recognizing Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that she, instead of opening the gate, she ran in and announced to, that Peter was standing at the gate. They said to her, you are out of your mind. But she insisted that it was so. They said, it is his angel, while Peter continued knocking. And when they opened the gate, they saw him and were amazed. He mentioned to them, which is and to be silent, and described for them all the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he had it, tell this to James and to the believers. Then he left and went to another place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's rescue. I want to use as the title for this short meditation, God is the ruler yet. My intention was to use the hymn, This is My Father's World at the beginning, but I couldn't find a recording of it that I have permission to use. So, there, but there's a verse in that hymn that I like, which I borrow the title for this meditation from. This is my father's world, or oh, let me never forget that though the wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. God rules. God is in control. Herod represents the darkness of the world. He rules by might and by force. James is beheaded. Peter is dashed in prison, bound by chains and guarded. But here we see that the good news is unstoppable. Indeed, God is unstoppable. Though the wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. This story is about Peter's miraculous escape from prison led by an angel right through the doors with no one noticing. <coughs> Peter is put in prison for speaking about Jesus. An imprisonment here means that he should shut up, that they don't want to hear his message or his testimony. <clears throat> Last week, I did mention that many biblical writers believe that the 
The proper title for the Acts of the Apostles is the Acts of the Holy Spirit. That's what it is. The early church filled, led, inspired, and controlled by the Holy Spirit. They faced so much wrong. And those wrongs in terms of persecution, beatings, imprisonment, martyrdom, often they had to run for their lives. But those never stopped the gospel. Rather, they helped to spread the gospel. The good news is unstoppable. Though the wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. When we look around us, so much is so wrong. <clears throat> and the wrong may seem to be winning the day. Racism, anti-Black racism, workplace oppression, online scamming and bullying, the poor and the vulnerable used and abused. But I believe God delivers. And I hope you believe that too. That with all the wrong going on around us, God will deliver. God will deliver us as he delivered Peter out of prison. God will make a way. I hope you know that many around our world are praying. Like the early church was praying for Peter. And that God is listening. And that God will come to our rescue. So I remind us. Though the wrong seems often so strong, God is the ruler yet. Amen. <clears throat> to invite you to join in the intercession. Let us pray. Oh God, in a world where many would seek to damage your creation, bring hatred to your people, show violence to your children. Help us always to be grateful for the gifts of love and life, for the glimpses of transforming beauty and unending wonder. Take us now and use us well to combat evil and destruction wherever we find it. In a world driven by greed and a lust for power, where the materials threaten to overwhelm the spiritual, where goodness seems to be too frail in the face of badness. Help us not to give up on righteousness and truth. To believe that you can use well the gifts we offer, that you will call forth the gifts of your people again and again. In a world where people are broken, at the hands of humanity and the vigorous of nature, help us to trust the healing of your blessing and love, placed even now into the hands of those who seek to face down injustice and champion human rights who stand in the dark places with your light held high, who give of themselves for the sake of others. In a world where we struggle to understand pain and suffering, and most especially in the lives of those we love. We bring before you those for whom we weep, those we embrace in our hearts, those to whom we reach out in the yearnings of our prayers. A world where we can feel so insignificant and helpless. Help, help us to know you help us to know that you have a place for us. Lift our spirits when we don't feel good enough. Fit us into your plan in amazing ways. In a world where so much is focused on the here and now. Help us to remain bound with with those who have gone before us, to rejoice in our fellowship in the one kingdom of your love, to give thanks that from time to time, we have a glimpse of eternity. Amen.
whose Savior has taught us. So we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who give them the trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Prayer of strength for strength. May the strength of God pilot us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the shield of God defend us. May the host of God guide us against the snares of evil and the temptations of the world. May Christ be with us. May Christ be for us. May Christ in us, Christ over us, may the salvation, O Lord, be always for us, this day and forevermore. Amen. Blessing. In the strength of the Lord, and the path he has marked for us, for your feet, follow the light of his word, Shrink not from the dangers you meet. His presence, your steps shall attend. His fullness, your wants shall supply. On him, till your journey shall end. On a unwavering faith shall rely. And may God bless you and hold you in the palm of his hand. In the name of the Father. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. They, we continue to come to you with Noonday Bite and Sip on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 noon. Um, and the, our Sunday service, our next Sunday service is September 6 at 10.30. And then followed on Sundays is our Kids for Jesus program, online program at 12 noon. And these three different ways that we share with you through devotion and through services, um, they can be found on the website, on the Facebook page, and even on YouTube. Just to remind you too that we reopen church on the 13th of September, hopefully. Um, we are making plans for that. Um, the, the, we are sending out a letter and an attachment to that letter with, you know, the protocols about what we intend to do as we reopen and how you are expected to follow some of those protocols, those guidelines set by the province and also by the diocese. <clears throat> Our music today, um, compliments of Martin De Bru, and we thank him and the liturgical resources also we have identified where they came from at the very beginning of, um, of those resources. Um, so we thank those who allow us to use their resources. Thank Neville for sharing with us today and thank all of you for also joining us for this devotion. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless. Mighty.
God is 